I'm on this podcast. All hell's going to break loose tomorrow. Just understand this. All hell's going to break loose tomorrow. It's going to be moving. It's going to be quick. You mean to tell now these people like, what did what did Trump know? If Bannon knew, what did Trump know? No, if, if Bannon knew, what did the, the, the law enforcement know? Right. This is what we should be asking ourselves. Right. If they knew something was going to happen, they stood the hell down and let these capital, this this black shine, this goddamn big rerun looking motherfucker out there and had white people calling him nigger and he breaking the fuck down. You see, believe that shit. You motherfucker said, I got, I I never got called nigger before with my badge on. <laughs> What, I got what, never called got told nigga before with my badge on. My that badge was a first for me. <laughs> nigga, please. <laughs> I'm like, what the talking about? Uh, I can't believe this nigga got up there on a stand. <laughs> up there and talk <laughs> and growl in front of these white folks. <laughs> they call me nigger. He called me nigger. I had to, I worked hard for this badge. This is the no nigger badge. You're not supposed to call me a nigger when I got this badge on. I worked hard for this. That's basically what this nigga is saying. That's the no nigger badge. I'm a good boy now. Like, that's what the fuck is he saying? I'm a good boy now, master. I got my badge. You, you deputize me. Yo, could any white man's gonna call me a nigger? This nigga crazy? Oh my god. Oh my god. And not only that, you know he's lying, you know, because you know niggas be calling him niggas. Niggas be saying nigga this like like brushing the teeth. Like he act like he never got called nigga with fucking that badge when he's on in uniform. Yeah. Like, come the hell on, man. I, but I don't blame them cops though. You know, the white cop, he got all downright angry and mad and shit like that. Yeah. You know, they, they was acting for a fucking... Because you know if they do something, like, if they become, like, really uh, memorable, mm -hmm. they could be set up for life. Mm -hmm. NBC, CNN, we're like, man, you, we got good numbers on you, man. Come on, but why don't you, we off your six-figure job, man. Why don't, you cut, why don't you speak for us once a week? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I don't really blame them for fucking trying to, to sh put sugar on it and shit like that. They, you know, they trying to grift, you know what I mean? But damn, man. <laughs> they definitely getting their grift on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, were, they got a publisher way to drop a book now, January 6th, the last day of my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I mean, there was a lot of people out there, and I'm like, I wouldn't blame them guys. You know, some of them guys may not be built for it. it you know, it might be shook. But what it was was a riot. It was not a coup attempt. And, and like these people saying coups, man. Like, listen, the Charlie Indigo Alpha um, people know how to do a coup. They did it. In, they do it in South America all the time. They do Let's not practice. get misconstrued. Yeah, they do that for breakfast, man. God damn, they do that like, God damn, they wrote the manuals for that shit. <laughs> what happened out there was a riot. Now, I'm like, if y'all don't believe that they didn't know beforehand, like, and it's a shame, man, because mm -hmm. if we had like a righteous, you know, um, investigation, we could find out that uh, certain people knew that about that beforehand and let it go down. Yeah, but they'll, they'll probably never see the light unless Trump comes back in 2024, which I, you know, I doubt that shit. I think they're trying to use this to disqualify him. Yeah, they've been trying to do that shit. I think, and I think they'll succeed. They'll actually succeed in using this and disqualifying. Yeah, because these, I mean, these people is, is shook. Bro. I never heard people oh, one six man. Remember one six? Like, what the fuck is one six? Yeah. They try to make it to do 9-11. And meanwhile, you know, I feel like the patriotic white man, you know, thinking about our 1776 days. Right. You know, like, I thought this was, was good for America. This is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to challenge your government. That's what I thought the white man had wrote into the Constitution four score seven years ago and all that shit. What happened to all of that? 
And then the black folks then took their side. I'm like, yo, y'all said fuck the police. Where we at? Where we at with it? I don't get it. I don't get it.